This is a presentation over dentigerous cysts by Katie Moncrief, Jade Koch, Danny Most, Kathleen Bartunik, and Lexi Jessen. Dentigerous cysts are the most common developmental odontogenic cysts and is also known as a follicular cyst. Dentigerous cysts are caused by proliferation of enamel organ remnants. Studies have shown that COX-2 may be involved in the proliferation of epithelium, which could be beneficial in finding a way to manage these type of cysts. Dentigerous cysts are usually asymptomatic and are incidentally discovered on panoramic radiographs. However, dentigerous cysts may disrupt normal eruption patterns, so failure of teeth to erupt could indicate the presence of a dentigerous cyst. These commonly occur in the first decades of life when teeth are proliferating before eruption. Dentigerous cysts are usually associated with impacted third molars and canines, with the common of the two being mandibular third molars. Radiographically, a dentigerous cyst appears as a well-defined unilocular radiolucency with a corticated margin. There will always be an impacted or developing tooth associated with the radiolucency. The cyst will appear to be attached to the CEJ of the impacted tooth but may envelop the whole tooth. Dentigerous cysts may have an effect on surrounding structures including root resorption in adjacent teeth. You can see in image A that the cyst is attaching to the CEJ of tooth number 32. There is resorption of the adjacent tooth in image C. Dentigerous cysts can cause expansion of the cortical bone, which is often painless, unless there is infection of the involved tooth. There is often displacement of the involved tooth, adjacent teeth, and the mandibular canal with dentigerous cysts, which may be better visualized on CVCT scans. This is because the CVCT gives better visualization of dentigerous cysts in surrounding structures. Some differential diagnoses for dentigerous cysts include amyloblastomas, odontogenic keratosis, or OKC, and hyperplastic follicles. A hyperplastic follicle can be differentiated from a dentigerous cyst on a radiograph based on the size. A hyperplastic follicle is also smaller than a dentigerous cyst, measuring less than 5 mm from the crown to the cystic border. Amyloblastomas are a type of odontogenic tumor that can appear multilocular with calcifications. The less mature forms may look like dentigerous cysts, which would indicate a histological analysis to differentiate. Amyloblastomas are more expansile due to a more aggressive behavior. Therefore, root resorption and displacement is also seen. These lesions do not attach to the CEJ like dentigerous cysts do, and the recurrence rate is high for amyloblastomas. The expansion of the cortical bone can be seen in the CVCT image on the right. OKCs, like dentigerous cysts, are a type of developmental cyst that can appear unilocular or multilocular. There is no expansion seen with OKCs, as growth of these lesions are in the anterior-posterior direction. A histological analysis may be needed for differentiation. An OKC will have a keratinized lining, while the lining of a dentigerous cyst will be non-keratinized. OKCs, like amyloblastomas, do not attach at the level of the CEJ of the associated tooth. There are a few treatment options for dentigerous cysts. Removal of the affected tooth, enucleation, or marsupialization in combination with orthodontic treatment are all possible treatments to remove a dentigerous cyst. It is not indicated to leave the cyst untreated because it may undergo malignant transformation or transform into a more aggressive amyloblastoma.